What is going on guys back with my latest video so today I figured I'd switch it up a little bit take a break from the mystery boxes and do something different so I've seen a lot of people recently talking about on Twitter Instagram YouTube what's on their Funko wish list due to Funko uh, tweeting out some advertising for to promote their new app um, and I've also stumbled across some people talking uh, or making concept art on Instagram for what pops they believe Funko should make next so I got to thinking, what do I want Funko to make next? So I started making a list and the list kept getting longer and longer and longer and longer. So I decided to make a video about what I would like to see Funko make next. So let's get right into it. All right guys, so in my collection, I basically collect seven different categories, anime, TV, Ad icons, Disney, Marvel, 90s cartoons, and Game of Thrones. So I broke them up into different sections to kind of make it easier of what I want to see Funko make in each section. The only one I didn't add was actually Game of Thrones because for the most part Funko has made all the Game of Thrones pops I like them to see. So I'm going to go one by one in each category, let you guys see what I feel that Funko should make that they have not already. All right, so first we have anime. So anime basically for me is just Dragon Ball Z. So I do like My Hero Academia as well. Haven't really got into the other animes just yet. I promised myself I would, promise you guys I would as well, um, but just have not tackled that um, subsection of anime yet. So for me, it's gonna focus mostly on the Dragon Ball Z pops I believe that Funko has not made yet. All right guys, so the first character I wanna focus on that I think Funko should make into a pop is Topo. If you guys have not checked out Dragon Ball Super yet, go check it out right now. Like, right now. Dragon Ball Super is an amazing TV show. It's a lot better than Dragon Ball Z to me. They kinda just took it up to the next level with that show. I strongly suggest and recommend you guys check that show out. But Topo is one of the most interesting characters on that sh uh, show. He's an incredibly strong uh, character in the show as well. He's a god of destruction candidate and overall just a great character. I think Funko should make it. I think he would translate well into a Funko Pop. Um, I want to focus on these uh, suggestions to, as far as Funko Pops as things I think would translate well and would look good in Funko Pop uh, form. And Topo is definitely one of those characters. He has exaggerated features like his ears, his mustache, his eyes, and overall he's a big uh, character as well. So I think he would translate well into a Funko Pop character. And also Funko has the opportunity to make him into a chase variation or just a exclusive variation with his God of Destruction form. I think Topo is definitely a strong candidate to be made into a Funko Pop. All right, so the next character I believe that Funko should make is Deborah. Now, Deborah is one of the unsung characters in Dragon Ball Z. Not many people really talk about him because he died pretty fast. Spoiler alert. Uh, but Deborah is one of the most menacing characters in Dragon Ball Z. Um, I think he would translate extremely well into a character and or to a pop. And I think that he could be a Comic-Con exclusive as well, just because he's not really a character many Dragon Ball Z enthusiasts talk about very much. But I think in Funko Pop version, he would be very, very cool. And I think Funko should get on making that one really soon as well. So the third character I want to focus on in Dragon Ball Z is Guru. Another unsung Dragon Ball uh, Z character no one really talks about too much. Um, but Guru was one of the most infamous characters in the early episodes of Dragon Ball Z. He was very powerful. Many people revered him, looked up to him. And also, I just think he would look dope because him, he is in a gigantic figure in Dragon Ball Z. He is about, I don't know, a million feet tall. So I think if they made him to a six inch or even a 10 inch Funko Pop, um, that would be a really dope looking design. And uh, I think Funko would really benefit from making Dragon Ball Z characters to make them into 10 inches. I don't think we've had a 10 inch Dragon Ball Z character yet. And I think Guru could be the first candidate to become one. So the last Dragon Ball Z character I want to focus on is Mr. Popo. So I don't think this will ever happen due to the negative backlash Mr. Popo has gotten in recent years. But Mr. Popo is one of the most iconic Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z characters of all time. 
I don't think you can just ignore Mr. Popo's existence at this point. I know in some of the cartoons I've seen, Mr. Popo is painted as blue. Um, maybe Funko could do that to kind of get away with making the character to not be as offensive to me. I just want Mr. Popo the way he was, the way he's intended to be, and the way I remember him. Um, and I think in a Funko Pop, he would translate very well because of the eyes he already has. And just overall, he looks like a Funko Pop figure already. So I think Funko should make Mr. Fo Mr. Popo into a Funko Pop and finally give him that honor. All right, so one final anime pop I believe Funko should make. Um, I know they're starting to make some of the Pokemon pops uh, with Pikachu, uh, Bulbasaur, now Charmander. So the next logical one's probably going to be Squirtle. But after they do the starting Pokemon, I believe they should start making some of the others as well. And that first pop I think they should make is Mewtwo. Um, Mewtwo, for all those 90 kids growing up, was just on a different level as far as Pokemon was concerned. Um, as far as the first 150, he was probably the strongest if you discount Mew um, as far as Pokemon are concerned. If you played the game, he was the prize at the end of the game. Once you beat the Pokemon League, you captured Mewtwo and you essentially beat the game. Um, so Mewtwo was always a nostalgic figure. He is the villain, if you will, in the first Pokemon movie. So I think Pokemon, or I think Funko, should actually give Mewtwo the honor of being the first Pokemon outside the starting Pokemon to receive his very own pop. And I think the overall design from Mewtwo would look dope as well in Funko Pop form. Alright guys, so the next section I want to focus on is TV shows. So this was a hard section for me because I have consistently said that I don't like People Pops. The reason why I don't like that is they don't always look like the person. They're not easily discernible outside the box. Most casual uh, fans or people would not know who they are unless they had a name tag on them. So. People Pops have never really been my forte, so it's hard for me to choose which ones I feel that Funko should make. And what I wanted to do was focus on those in TV shows who are very, very easily discernible. Um, you can tell who they are, no doubt, without having to have a name tag on them. All right, so the first TV show pop I want to focus on is Omar Little. So if you guys have never watched The Wire, The Wire to me is definitely top three shows of all time. And Omar Little is probably one of my favorite, it's probably my favorite character from The Wire. Um, he is a ro drug dealer robber, is essentially what he is. Um, he terrorizes the whole city of Baltimore um, with a shotgun and whistles Farmer in the Dell. That's the most gangster thing I've ever seen in my life. If you're afraid of somebody whistling Farmer in the Dell, you know he is the real deal. And I think in Funko Pop form, he would be easily discernible. Um, he would be wielding the shotgun, he would have that oversized trench coat uh, and do-rag. I think anybody that is a fan of the show would know right off the bat who Omar was. And he's very easily discernible and I think he would translate well into Funko Pop form. So the next character I want to talk about is from my favorite TV show of all time and that is Prison Break. And the character I would like to see Funko make is pretty obviously Michael Schofield. So if you guys have not watched Prison Break, it is the greatest show of all time, and Michael Schofield is the greatest human being to have ever lived. Literally, he is the GOAT. So if you have not watched it, like I said, check that out. Um, you will not be disappointed. But I feel that Michael Schofield is an easily dis uh, recognizable uh, character in that show. The tattoos he has, you know, makes him stand out. And if Funko decided to make him into a pop, I think it'd be an extremely detailed pop as well because he has a million and one tattoos that they would have to nail down on his body. So I think that's one that Funko should definitely look into making because I think he'd be an easy recognizable figure and he's an iconic uh, character in TV history to me. So the next set I think that Funko should make from a TV show is Seinfeld. So Seinfeld is probably the greatest sitcom of all time. Um, if you guys have not checked that already, again, that's another one you guys should definitely check out. It's the funniest show to me, or funniest sitcom to me of all time. Um, the characters from that show are easily recognizable. Um, Kramer, Elaine, George, Jerry, and even can make a Newman one. Um, I think those will all be great. You can do uh, a puffy shirt Jerry, Chase. Um, you can do a lot of different things with Seinfeld. The characters, like I said, are easily recognizable. And I think Funko should definitely make those eventually. So the next pop I think that Funko should do is from another 90s sitcom show. 
and that is Family Matters. And the obvious choice from Family Matters is the infamous Steve Urkel. So Steve Urkel was one of the most popular characters in the 90s, if you guys remember. Um, he needs no introduction, and I think they Funko should definitely make him into a Funko Pop. And he was one of the most popular characters of all time uh, on TV. And I think Funko should finally give the treatment uh, he deserves and make him into a Funko Pop. Um, they can even go the extra mile and make him into a chase um, with Stefan. I think that would be a dope design as well if Funko decided to go that route. Um, so Steve Urkel definitely deserves his own Funko Pop and I would hope to see that, that make that someday in the future. Another pop that they have not made yet, and I'm kind of surprised because I think there's a wacky wobbler for it that Funko made uh, years ago, is Alf. Um, Alf is one of the most interesting characters of all time. I think he was in the 80s, he had a TV show. Um, but I never really watched the show, but I always had Alf toys. And I think Funko should really make a uh, Alf uh, Funko pop. It will look really dope. It's definitely something they could pull out for like a con or something exclusive. Um, Alf is an easily uh, identifiable character. Um, he's very iconic and Funko would have no problem selling this pop. And I think people would eat this one up. The final pop I think Funko should do as part of my TV set is one of the characters I hate to admit, but he was very iconic, is Barney. Barney needs a Funko Pop. I hate to admit it, but Barney was one of the most iconic characters growing up. I never was really a Barney guy. I kind of watched Sesame Street as a kid. But can't deny that Barney has made an impact on pop culture, and I think he would translate well into Funko Pop form. Um, you know, kids loved Barney growing up. They've already done the Teletubbies uh, for like another PBS show. So I think that Barney would be a great character to, uh, to, for Funko to make. He would look at, great as a Funko Pop character. And if they decided to do Baby Bop and BJ, uh, so be it. I won't buy him, but Barney I probably would buy. And I think he needs his own Funko Pop. All right, so moving on, going into the ad icon section. So for the most part, Funko has done a whole lot of the serial mascots and other ad icons. But for some reason, they've missed some. Um, starting with the Honeycomb Monster Dog Animal Thingy. Um, I don't know what his name is, but he was one of the most iconic uh, serial mascots for me when I was growing up. Um, he was always crazy, the commercials were very memorable, and I think he would be a great addition to their serial line of, of ad icons. Um, I think he would translate very well into Funko Pop form, and overall I just think it would be a dope pop. I would buy that one instantly. Um, hopefully it would be a um, easy one to obtain because I loved that uh, mascot growing up and cereal as well. So I've seen some rumors of some McDonald's pops coming up, but I think I just saw that it was Ronald McDonald, but I think there's two other characters that deserve Funko Pops from the McDonald's line, and that is Grimace and the Hamburglar. Um, so anybody watching McDonald's commercials uh, uh, years ago remembers these two characters, Grimace and Hamburglar. I think they would look great as Funko Pops. If they want to make those little pom-pom furry looking things, so be it. They were a little weird looking to me, uh, but Grimace and Hamburglar um, were the two second most iconic characters next to uh, Ronald, and I think they would be um, very dope looking designs and Funko should make those into Pops. And the final ad icon that I think Funko has missed and I think deserves their own Funko Pop is the Hawaiian Punch Guy. So anybody that drinks Hawaiian Punch knows who this character is. He's a very iconic figure, and I think he would translate extremely well into a Funko Pop. I know they've done the Kool-Aid Man recently, so I think they should show some love to Hawaiian Punch as well, and they came into a Funko Pop. It would be a very dope design, and I would buy that one instantly as soon as they dropped it. Moving on to the Disney section of Pops I believe that Funko should make. There weren't very many because Funko has made so many of them and Disney Pops are always, always sell out well. They try to make as many as possible because even people that aren't into the Funko hobby may end up buying Disney Pops because they like the movie. Um, but there were several I believe that they missed the boat on. Um, the first being King Triton. So King Triton is one of the most powerful Disney characters um, in the movies and Little Mermaid is one of the most popular Disney movies of all time. And I think King Triton definitely can, deserves his own Funko Pop. 
Um, they have Ursula, they have Ar uh, Ariel, Sebastian, Flounder, but for whatever reason, King Triton's missing. Um, I think they could definitely make him into a six inch or 10 inch figure um, since he's so powerful and he's so um, iconic and big in the t uh, movie. I think King Triton definitely deserves his own Funko Pop and they can make that one very easily and would fly off the shelves. The other ones I believe that Funko missed out on are all from the same movie and that movie is Hercules. So the first one I do believe they missed out on is the obvious choice of Zeus. Um, how do you have a Hercules line and not include Zeus? Um, Zeus is the god of all gods in the movie, Hercules' dad, and he's the most powerful person in that movie. So I believe Zeus definitely deserves his own Funko Pop. It could be a 10 inch, six inch pop, just to kind of um, capture the size of Zeus on the movie. And I think they would translate really well into a Funko Pop. Um, he is a strong character, and I think he deserves his own Funko Pop. Um, the other two I believe that Funko should make, and I think would look incredible as Funko Pops, because I think they should definitely, definitely, definitely make these into 10 inch figures. And those are Cerebus and Hydra. So Cerebus, I don't believe was in the movie too much, but he was definitely a character that showed up several times on the game Kingdom Hearts that Disney uh, collaborated um, with PlayStation to make. Um, Cerebus is a crazy, dope, menacing looking character uh, that Disney made. And I think as a 10 inch pop, this would look amazing. He's already got the whited out eyes um, that Funko would require. And he's got three heads. It's almost like getting three pops in one. They can make that pop $50, $60 retail and I still would buy it because I think that would look amazing. The same with Hydra. Hydra was um, Hercules' main villain, I believe, um, in one of the movies, or the first movie. And I, I think with the multiple heads of Hydra, um, that would look dope as well as a six or 10 inch pop, hopefully 10 inch. Um, but yeah, that would be an amazing looking design. Um, he's a crazy looking monster in the movies and I think he would translate extremely well into Funko Pop form and I think Funko should definitely consider making these two pops into 10 inch uh, figures and their next uh, wave of Disney Pops. So the next category I want to focus on is Marvel. So there are a million Marvel Pops mainly because they do a lot of variations of the same characters like Spider-Man, Captain America. Um, there's a million of them. Um, but there's some characters they haven't even scratched the surface and have not even made them into Funko Pops yet, which to me is amazing because these guys, uh, these Pops definitely would have a good following. These characters have a great following. And I feel that it's, it's time that Funko gives them the just they deserve and turn them into Funko Pops. So the first character I want to mention is Gambit. Gambit is from the newer set of uh, X-Men Mutants. And he is one of the most iconic characters to me even with not being around so long gambit definitely deserves his own funko pop um, they could have him with um just regular they could have him holding cards in his hand um, they could even make it in a glow in the dark variation with him having the cards in hand and they glow um, there's so many things you can do with gambit and the fact that there is no gambit pop yet is amazing to me because he just has a crazy following even though he hasn't been around that long so the second character i want to focus on is jubilee um, these are all going to be from X-Men because I think X-Men is the greatest universe in Marvel. But Jubilee is one of the other um, characters that they introduced in the 90s that I believe that Funko should really make. They kind of ignore that whole line of X-Men characters for the most part. Um, but Jubilee, a lot of people didn't really like at the time. But you can't deny if you grew up watching that show that Jubilee is an iconic figure at this point. Um, she definitely would translate well into a Funko Pop with the vibrant colors she has. Um, I think they definitely should turn her into her own version of a Funko Pop. Um, the third one I believe that Funko should make is Rogue. I mean, Rogue's been around for a while. She's not completely a new character, um, but Rogue definitely deserves her own Funko Pop. Um, I don't know why Funko doesn't really make too many X-Men ones. Um, I've asked them several times on Twitter with no response uh, if they would make some Funko Pops for X-Men. Hopefully they see this video or see the tweet some some point and turn these into Funko Pops. But to this point, they just haven't and I think Rogue is one they definitely should do when they decide to make a new wave of them. So the final pop I think that Funko should make is my favorite superhero of all time and that is Nightcrawler. So Nightcrawler, to me, is 
the best superhero of all time. I almost got a Nightcrawler tattoo. I talked myself out of it temporarily. I probably will eventually get one, <laughs> but Nightcrawler needs a Funko Pop first. I do believe Nightcrawler will look really, really dope as a Funko Pop. He's already got the eyes for it. They don't have to make the little uh, black eyes. They can just white his eyes out like he is in the comics and just give him his own Funko Pop. That is the one that Funko desperately needs to make. Um, he can have a sword variation. He can have, um, you know, all different types of variations, different costumes, different designs. I think Funko desperately needs to make a um, Nightcrawler pop and uh, just all the X-Men in general just need their own pop. So the next section I want to focus on is 90s cartoons. So there weren't many from them because they've done a pretty decent job of making characters I grew up with from Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. Um, but there were a few that I think they missed. Um, the first being Susie. Um, they've made all the other Rugrats characters, Tommy, uh, you know, Angelica, Chucky, Reptar, Spike. But not Susie. Uh, Susie is one of the most um, recognizable characters from, from Rugrats. Maybe Phil and Lil need one as well. But I think Susie would look really dope as a fun co pop. You know, she's got the braids. Um, if you had Phil and Lil, you'd have to buy both. They'd probably be a two pack. But separately, I don't think they'd be do uh, good. But Susie by herself, I think they should make it to a fun co pop. It seems like they already have the license to make Rugrats pop, so this one shouldn't be too hard at all for fun co to make. And the other one I do believe that Funko should make is Dexter Laboratory Pops. Um, I don't know why they don't have any of them. Um, I think they have a Cartoon Network license because they have Steven Universe and the Powerpuff Girls. Um, but Dexter seems to not have any Funko Pops. And I think Dexter himself, Dee Dee, and even Mandark would be really, really dope looking Pops. Crazy designs and I think the 90s kids would eat those up and buy them and take them right off the shelves. So one last thing I want to mention is I've seen them make a lot of the MLB mascots into Pops now and I want to see them make um, some of the NBA and NFL mascots as well. Mainly Bernie and Freddie Falcon. So that's my list guys. Um, please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think they should make the Funko Pops next. Uh, let me know what you guys felt from the list I have what they should do first. I'm just always like, comment, share, and subscribe to my videos. Thank you so much for your support guys. Until next time, I'll see you later.